All right. So one thing that every meal, I think every meal needs to know is is how to be hobbled um, and wear hobbles and, and not be troubled about it. For one, I, I use my hobbles quite a bit when we're out in the mountains and we stop somewhere to rest and, and I want them to graze or, or uh, when we get to camp and I want them to, to graze or something, I'll use those. And also just when I'm working and, and I need them to stand and stay pretty close to me, then I'll use them. Um, I'm gonna show you today how to, how to get them ready for some figure eight hobbles. And uh, we can talk maybe in another video about different types of hobbles and, and uh, when to use which type and, and whatnot. But for this video, I'm just gonna keep it pretty much focused on getting them used to having them and, and how I'd prepare them for the hobbles. And every, every snaffle bit mule that I have, you know, before I can progress at it, they need to be able to wear hobbles. So what I do is I just get yourself a little longer lead rope and, and I'll just uh, kind of take this above her above her leg now if they were if you had one that was still pretty troubled about their leg then you'd maybe use a lariat rope um you know and just have them free in a round pin but she's she's pretty gentle so i just take my rope like this and and i'm just going to put it down here on her pastern here and i would just pick up on it and she's she knows how to pick up a foot which is great so this really isn't that big a deal but i just get to where I could just pick it up at first like this. I'm not going to try to lead her anywhere. I just see if I can pick it up like that. Good. And then I'd get to where maybe I'd try to see if I could get her to come forward just a little bit. So I'll put a little pressure there. And I'm not don't don't pull so much that you make them take a that you make them pick it up. Just just pick up on it and let them kind of figure it out. There's the other foot that has to come, and then this foot can come again. There you go. Don't be bothered if they want to paw a little bit. Just let them kind of sort that out here. Make sure you stand far enough ahead of them that you wouldn't get pawed. I'll pick up on it again, see if I can't get her to come with me. Good. Now your meal might just come with you, and I and I reckon that Lariette's probably just come with me just to come with me since I have this here too, and that'd be okay. But I'd get to where I could work on both legs, and they'd be they'd be at least pretty soft about me just just picking up a foot like this where it wouldn't be any type of big deal. And once I can I can check that off then then I could go ahead and try hobbles. So I'm gonna show you how to put hobbles on and how I'd she's wore hobbles a time or two here, so this isn't her first time. But um, you know the first her first time was a piece of cake anyways so so what I'll do is I'll get my figure eight hobble just undone like this, okay? And um I will come down here. I'll make sure they fill me all the way through. I don't want any surprises. I'll pet both legs. And I'll do this far leg first. Don't go standing under them and don't swap sides. Just stay on one side and do it, okay? And I'll and I'll run it back through itself right here. And I and I like to put it on the cannon bone for the first time here. That seems to be the easiest. I'll go through this other little loop here. If she kind of wants to move, I'll just I'll just hold my hobble so I don't lose it here. Maybe I'll just back her up some. She wants to go visit Sky on the camera. So I'll set her back here. Maybe. A little more. There you go. Put that foot back. Okay. And then I'll get this close side here. I'll run it through and I'll just, to buckle it up, I'll try to get her to take a little step forward. That's why they need to be pretty light moving a foot on the lead rope. Okay, now now that she's kind of got them on, I'd keep I'd keep them on the end of my lead rope because now she she's probably going to be fine. She's warm, but if yours was new to this, well, they might want to get a little bothered. And if you could keep them on the lead rope to kind of help them, so they don't get taken off. Sometimes they'll get to jumping, and they'll get it taken off, and you don't want them to run into a fence or something. And I also do this, and we're in a nice soft arena. Got some good dirt here to where if she was to fall down to her knees, which sometimes when they're learning how to wear hobbles, they might kind of trip up a little bit, especially if you haven't done a good enough job preparing, then they might be prone to fall and trip because they don't know how to just soften their feet, their legs. Anyway, so I just kind of let her stand here for a little bit and just kind of leave her be and there she goes. She says, oh yeah, those are hobbles. And she'd be just fine with it. 
no big deal. But you'd want to stay here with your mule a little bit. Now just make sure that if they got bothered and was going a little too fast with them, why you'd you'd be able to get to the side and stay out of the way. Okay. So, anyways, that's and and I put them loose enough there that they kind of fell down under a pasture in there, and that's fine. There, a little jump, good. That's that's how I'd go about teaching them to wear a hobble. And um, I think every meal needs to know these things, and especially before I ever graduate, I have a snaffle bit. They need to be able to be hobbled and and relax. Besides just the hobbling, because a lot of you might never hobble, which is fine. But besides just this, getting them. To where they can wear hobbles and 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 lead by a foot why those things will be beneficial to you if you ride in any type of country where there might be a lot of deadfall or uh, a lot of brush and stuff that'll get around their legs and if you rope you know if you rope you're going to be around other people that rope and they're going to ropes are going to end up around your mule's legs at some point in their life packing you're always around ropes so Anyways, it's good to get them used to that. Now, when I go to take these hobbles off here, I'll come down this side. I'm standing right next to her shoulder. My shoulder is touching her leg, basically. Okay, so I can stay safe here. If she got bothered, she'd, she'd go forward or back here, probably. Anyways, I'll just take this off. And Good thing about the figure eights is you can just pull them right off once they're unbuckled. It's pretty simple. So, anyways, hope you find this, this week's challenge useful to you. And... Uh, I'd love to see your videos and pictures of you working at getting your mules to hobble. So have fun with it. Thank you for watching.